Hello and welcome to Talks Too Much for all your bite-sized manga content. And today's topic will be Toriko. Now Toriko is quite a special manga to me for one of the reasons and one of the reasons why it is special to me is the fact that every character and every creature and every location has something special about it. It's not simply a plane, it has to be something like land sea. Everything is special, like blood 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 bugs, golden whales, golden oceans, there's so, so many unique things that everything stands out. In Dragon Ball, the old Dragon Ball, when Vegeta and Goku were fighting, it was just a random plane, there wasn't anything special. There's a lot of places that are either based on our world or just based on the regular shonen or fantasy trope, they don't have anything special with them. Toriko, and everything is unique about it. That's how you remember everything. Every piece of the world that gets shown has something special about it or has something that stands out. And that is also very much something that's quite nice just to see a lot of the viewers actually get their own work shown through that. For other people, there are other things that made Toriko special. A lot of other people enjoyed the pseudoscience explanations. A lot of other people enjoyed the fights more, the characters. 